Every year, the National Merit Program chooses 50,000 students to qualify for the National Merit Scholarship. 11 Riverdale students were able to qualify. It's difficult because of the scores in this part of the country, particularly New Jersey, are high and they change every year. They're, they're almost like curved scoring. So it's very difficult to, to reach that high number. It's rather difficult because it's a national program and it's a certain percentage of students who qualify. That percentage is one half of one percent nationally. It's great. I mean, we're very happy that 11 students qualified and very proud that they've done it. And they also should take pride in the fact that they've accomplished this uh, distinction since it's very difficult to do this. I think that's tremendous. We have some very great students at Riverdale and their academics certainly show through the national merit. These students were spectacular academically, but we can all wonder what they were like. What makes these students different from the rest of the Riverdale student body? That's a hard question. Um, I don't think everybody um, takes the test with equal uh, zeal, if you will. It's more important to some kids than others. Uh, I remember when I took it, I was highly motivated because I came from a, a family of modest means and I needed money for scholarships. Uh, other kids who might be more financially well off or <clears throat> are not trying to attract the attention of a tier one college might not be quite as motivated. But I think it does speak well of the, uh, the finalists because it shows that for whatever their motivation, they've put in the time, they've put in the studying, and they have taken uh, probably more of our harder courses so that they've prepared themselves and I commend them for that. Even though they showed such promise, they did not make it into the national program as semi-finalists. Again, the cutoff number is very high, and uh, I think that Riverdale has many, many smart students. Uh, this is all based upon a day last October where they sat and took a test, and um, perhaps if they retook it, they would do better. Well, it it's really based on one test. Uh, I mean, it's not anything to do with their ability or anything else. They're extremely intelligent students, and it's, it's simply based on a test score. So I don't think anything about the fact that they haven't qualified for the uh, national. It's a test. Some students are naturally inclined to be better test takers. If you didn't become a national merit, either honorable mention or finalist or semi-finalist, it shouldn't define you. It should set a goal because on the PSAT, if you look at the test, you can see how well you did, what areas you may need to work on. I would look at it as an opportunity, no matter what your score is, take some good from it, take some action because of it, and move ahead. How do you think these students are progressing this year with their studies? Very well. All of them are excellent students. Right. Okay. Well, they're all in very challenging classes. Uh, they're all working very hard, and uh, they continue this focus that they have. Well, they're seniors this year, so obviously they've got a very rigorous senior course load, and they're, most of them are applying to colleges right now. It is obvious with 11 students qualifying for the National Merit Program that Riverdale is doing well.